Okay, here in Lesson 9 we're going to create a thing called an endless loop. And this is really common in computer programming, or at least loops are, because very rarely does a computer program just do one or two things and then close down. Normally they keep running. So, for instance, here's how I'm going to make it. The first thing I'm going to build is a signpost, or an anchor. And so, I put a full colon, which is shift semicolon, after it and that makes it an anchor. That's something that I can then send the program back to. And then I'm going to write go to and I'm just going to put the name of that signpost or anchor. So here's what the program does. Line 1, it just understands that's the anchor. Line 2, I haven't put any code. And line 3 says go to start. So as you can see it just runs through and keeps going back again and again and again. So whatever I put in between there Say text window, right line, hello, and I made a mistake there. So when I run that, there you go, it is constantly running that piece of code in the middle because it's got its starting point here, or perhaps I should say over here, and it starts, actually I've just realised that's backwards, over here. So it starts, it does the instruction, and then it says go back to the start. So, do your instruction, go back to the start. And that's why that's happening constantly. So, it is now your time to program. Here's what I want you to do. I want you to create a program that will write endlessly on the screen the words, I am a fish. I'm not going to make a part B for this because you can just very simply modify the program I've done here. But that's an endless loop and that's what you've just learned to create.